Today we're going to talk about creating a thesis. Or, and I'm not talking about a topic here, folks. A topic is a general area. A thesis is something you want to, you know, say. It's a specific statement. It's a specific claim about a particular topic. And so it's a little bit different than just saying, well, my topic's, you know, pol politics or, you know, this or shirts or, you know, it's too broad. You know, you're narrowing it down. So we're going to talk about what the things that you need to think about when making that decision, when narrowing it down. Audience. Who's in the audience? What are their, some of their core beliefs? Where are they at? What are their filters? Because that's going to affect how they interpret what you say. You know, for example, if I want to convince people that we need to change our educational system, well then I need to come up with something more specific than that. Just saying, well, we need to change it. Well, like how, Joe? Exactly how, how would that work? So for example, I, a, more, a more reasonable thesis would be we need to value education more, value academics more. See, that's even more specific. So you, know, you have to come up with something like that, and that's going to affect how I do it. If I'm talking to a bunch of educators, it's likely they're probably going to like that. If I'm talking to you know, administrative types, or if I'm talking to legislators, they might not like it as much because that would mean spending more money on it and maybe they don't want to do that. So it depends on who's out there. And so you need to keep that in mind as you put your speech together, okay? What's your purpose, okay? What reaction do you want from the audience? Are you expecting them to, you know, give you a, you know, a check for a donation to value education more? Are you expecting them to believe something or act on something, or are you just simply telling them what you know? It's more informative. And see, that changes how you would approach it in terms of what the topic actually is. And so you need to figure that out. So once you sort of looked at these two and figured out kind of where you are, then you go to this. And this is the, the actual process of narrowing, of breaking it down into smaller pieces. And I'm, I'm not going to cover all of them because the book goes into great depth on it, but I'm just going to give you a couple of examples. For instance, you might start out with a broad statement, and then you might go through and just edit out the parts that are repetitive, that, you, that seem to say the same thing. And so that might be one way of, of getting at it. You might ask somebody else what they think that means and get some feedback and then adjust the wording accordingly. I do that all the time with my wife. If I'm writing a speech or something, I'll, get, I'll tell her what, what, what I want to say, and she'll say, well, I don't really think you ought to say it that way. How about if you said it this way? So she's helping me edit, helping me narrow that topic, and that's what, that's what you need to do. That's another way that you do it. Another way that you can, you, you can sort of help create the thesis in your mind, now remember, you haven't said anything to the audience yet, you're still thinking about this, is you know, give an example. You know, show an example and say, here's how this works. Here's what I want to talk about. And that helps you think through, okay, what exactly am I saying here? How, helps you sort of define terms, if you will. Because definitions really do matter in a speech. Because what you define as, as education might be different. Because a lot of people, when I say the word education, think of, you know, the prom, the social stuff. When I say that, I think, I'm thinking of academic stuff. And so see, there's, there's my teacher background coming out. And so I need to know what I'm talking about. So I have to narrow that back down. And that's a hard process. So you create the thesis, you narrow it essentially. And you keep narrowing it until you're, you're, you can't go any longer. It's kind of like, like prime numbers in math. You can't, go any, you can't divide a prime number. So in theory, a speech thesis ought to be a prime number. You can't divide it. You can't go any lower, except, you know, by zero in itself. Okay, the, the next thing on my list to talk about is relevance. And so what relevance is, is, is simply, is the audience going to care? And so your job is to figure out what to say about that. How can I make the topic relevant or important to that? And that's what, why, where this is really important. If you know your audience and you know your purpose, then you know what you're trying to get to and you can explain that in a better way. So you need to stop and think about, okay, how am I going to make this relevant? Why should it matter to them? 
So for example, if I'm, if I'm talking about, you know, how to improve, uh, uh, you know, delivery systems in Texas, how does that affect somebody in New York City? Probably not, not at all. And so I have to give them some relevance. Maybe they could use it as a model. I don't know. Depends on what the, sh the topic is. So it has to be relevant. Last thing that I want to focus, focus in on here is that thesis statements are like memory. And by that, I mean that you want to make sure they remember that. You all hear that? They need to remember that thesis statement. The secret to improving our schools is to value academics more. Whatever, whatever your thesis statement is. Blue is the best color ever. Whatever it is. And so in your, in your structure, that needs to be highlighted because that's probably what all the research says is what they'll remember if you do your job right. They'll remember the thesis and they may not remember anything else that you do. So it's important that you get in your mind exactly, precisely what it is that you want to say to that audience and then build your speech around that one central thought. Thanks.